While most people know that the lungs are vital organs in the chest, responsible for taking in oxygen and releasing carbon dioxide, many misconceptions still exist. A common one is that pleural effusion means there's fluid inside the lungs. But that's not true. So then what exactly is pleural effusion? Let's find out. Surrounding the lungs is a thin membrane called the pleura, which has two layers. Between these layers is a small space known as the pleural space, filled with a small amount of pleural fluid. This fluid acts as a lubricant, allowing the lungs to expand and contract smoothly during breathing. Pleural effusion occurs when excess fluid builds up in the pleural space. This can cause the lungs to become compressed, making it harder to breathe. Patients with pleural effusion may experience symptoms like shortness of breath, chest pain, and a persistent <coughs> cough. There are two main types of pleural effusion, transudative and exudative effusions. Transudative pleural effusion is often related to systemic issues like heart failure, cirrhosis, or kidney disease. These conditions cause fluid to leak into the pleural space due to imbalances in pressure or protein levels in the blood. Exudative pleural effusion occurs due to inflammation or injury to the pleura itself. In this type, pus is collected. Common causes include infections like pneumonia, lung cancer, pulmonary embolism, or autoimmune diseases. To confirm your diagnosis, your doctor may suggest a chest X-ray or an ultrasound, where pleural effusion, an abnormal buildup of fluid, can be detected and assessed for severity. If pleural effusion is confirmed, the next step is a procedure called thoracocentesis. This can be either diagnostic, to analyze the fluid for signs of infection, cancer or other conditions, or therapeutic, to relieve symptoms like breathlessness. The benefits of thoracocentesis include improved breathing and immediate symptom relief. However, like all procedures, there are risks involved, including infection, bleeding or pneumothorax, which is the collapse of the lung. First, the doctor explain you the procedure and obtain informed consent. Then you will be positioned in a sitting up and leaning forward position, which provides better access to the fluid. Then you will be given anesthesia to ensure you don't feel any discomfort during the procedure. A cannula, a thin tube, is then gently inserted into your chest cavity, where the fluid has accumulated. The cannula is then connected to a drainage bottle, allowing the fluid to drain from your chest. Once the fluid has fully drained, the cannula is removed, and the wound on your chest is sealed with a sterile bandage. For a more detailed video about thoracocentesis, please click the link in the above right corner. With timely diagnosis and treatment, pleural effusion can be managed effectively.